From the Oklahoma Newsroom, you're watching The Press Row. I'm Jenny Carlson here with Barry Trammell. Barry, it is late August, and we know what that means. Football season is almost here. Here, here. Yeah, exactly. But it, what it even more means is our football preview section is almost here, Barry. Air Raid is the theme, specifically Return of the Clones, Attack of the Clones, all things Star, Roy Star Wars as it relates to the Air Raid. And obviously the Air Raid brand new or brand new again in Norman. Who is most in the crosshairs of this Air Raid return in Norman? Well, I mean, I think uh, obviously we're all looking at the quarterbacks because right. of Baker Mayfield. But uh, I think uh, I think the uh, offensive line's a question. Uh, it, it may be a good time to go to the Air Raid with a rebuilt offensive line. I've always thought the Air Raid was great for offensive line because they don't have to block that long. Right. They just sort of get in the way. Mike Leach did a lot of that at Texas Tech. Sooners are losing both offensive tackles. Uh, a, a guard, Adam Shedd. It's sort of a revamped re offensive yeah. line. So I think that's probably a good thing. But you still got to, you know, if, if, you, if the, all you have to do is get in the way, you still have to get, get in the way. way. <laughs> so yeah. let's see if those guys can do that. Well, and you like Bill Biedenboe, right? I mean, if there's a guy to oh, coach yeah. offensive line in the air raid, ding, ding, ding. Bill Biedenboe. I didn't know this. Bill Biedenboe goes back to the original. I mean, he's like. I mean, he's like I, the original Air Raid Center. Yeah, he's like he he was he was at Iowa Wesleyan. He was he was Hal Mummy and Mike Leach's center. Right. When they actually uh, their third year of of uh, being together at Iowa Wesleyan is when the Air Raid, what we consider the Air Raid, was really sort of created, born. Right. They went to the no huddle, the up tempo, yep. throwing it around, and their center was Bill Biedenboe. And now he's the. <laughs> uh, you know, he went to work for uh, he went went to work at Tech. Eventually, went to West Virginia with Dana Holgerson. Yep. Now he's back at Norman. Uh, spent the last couple of years not in the air raid, but Lincoln Riley shows up. The air raid and Bill Beaton well, united again. Okay, you make a great argument for offensive line, but I totally disagree with you because I think the position most in the crosshairs with the air raid move is the wide receiver. Now, you mentioned quarterbacks, and let's not forget they're going to have a new starter at quarterback. But last year, Sterling Shepard goes down. Nobody steps up. Everybody loves D.D. Westbrook. Loved him in the spring game. But those wide receivers have got to bring it. Lincoln Riley asked about that earlier this week. He said, I don't have any concerns. We've got playmakers. I want to see it, Barry, because I'm not convinced yet. We haven't seen it really since 2012 no. when, when uh, Kenny Stills and, and uh, Jalen Saunders, Justin Brown, that crew went on. Here's the deal. You got to have six, seven guys. Look at what we've seen out of OSU the last few years yeah. in the air raid. They, the Cowboys continue to run the air raid. They got five, six, seven guys they can throw it to, Barry, and that's I what think, works. I think without question, OSU, any team. I don't know if I know TCU and Baylor's wide receiver core well enough to say this, but pretty much any other team, including Oklahoma, would take OSU's wide receiver core right now, straight up, and swap them because OSU's got great depth and talent at wide receiver. I don't think we've seen it yet from OU. And you're right. OU's depth disappeared, and there's no excuse for it. I no. think it's why Jay Norvell's out of a – well, he's got a job now at Texas. So it's he's a good job. He's out of a job in Norman. But, but he, he, you know, he got dismissed from OU, and I think it's not because of coaching those guys. I think it's just collecting those guys. Right. Wide receivers fall out of trees, and that's almost a literal statement. I mean, Jalen Saunders, yeah. Justin Brown literally fell yeah, on their yeah, head. That's right. And but it took guys like that and they, to be yeah, any that's good. Right. And, they, and they just haven't recruited well at that position. Or developed, one of the two. We're yeah. going to have to see how these guys develop. I think that's a big question mark in this air raid.